Here's how to add air to a suspension fork on a mountain bike that runs on air. So you'll have one cap. This is a RockShox Recon Silver. Um, this is this has one cap that says air and then it's got an adjuster on the other side. So the air screw sometimes is tight. So you might have to take some pliers to it, the air cap. And you unscrew it and you find a little valve in there. Now this is where you need special equipment. Like if you, if you hook it up to a gas station pump or something, you'll probably blow up your forks. You need a, a really delicate little pump that adds a little bit at a time uh, a lot of shocks come with them like this one comes with the rock shock fork when you buy it if you need these uh, there's a link in the description to where you can get one of these and you just hook it up on there and it'll tell you how much pressure is in there now so this one's got about 25 pounds of pressure now the question is how many pounds of pressure is right for you. Most forks will be labeled, and if they're not, you can go to the manufacturer's website. The label is right here. So on the back of the fork leg here, this is the RockShox guide. So skinny guys use 110 pounds of pressure, fat guys go up to 175. So you use that as a guide, and then you can go higher or lower if you like it firmer or less firm. And then that's really it. You just take your pump, pump up the jam, pump it up, and then, get it up to so that's 100 that's 150 so we're trying to get it up into fat guy range for me i guess or borderline fat guy <laughs> whatever that is <laughs> adult at risk uh, pre-fat or whatever you want to call that like 195 pounds and then you just keep on pumping and you can see you can do very subtle variations if you like a, if you like a softer ride you don't have to go all the way up to your recommended fat guy setting and then once you're done pumping it up, undo it. Then you put the cap back on. Now you might be tempted to leave it on loose, but it'll probably bounce off on the trail if you do that. So I always give it a little tweak with uh, pliers. Tweak. And then you're good until next time. It does lose air. Some of them, an older fork is going to lose air every once in a while. So you probably want to check it every six months or so just to make sure it's still what you think it is.